Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this video is for those people who are looking into getting into IT or maybe transitioning from a different field to IT field or the tech field. This is to give you an idea on what you need to learn and the tasks that you are expected to do when you are doing your entry-level IT professional role. So this video is going to be an update from the video I made three to four years ago. That video reached a lot of people and now I'm doing an update four years later to add more stuff that I've missed from the previous video. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you should know is to know the basics on computer hardware. Of course, this is the most fundamental. You should know what a computer is and the different components, especially the most important ones like CPU, RAM, storage, like the hard drives, motherboard. Of course, that's a given that you already should know the fundamentals of that. You should understand the basic concepts between these components, but as an entry level also, realistically, we are not expected to fix all of those issues, especially fixing motherboard issues, anything related to the hardware itself. Itself. In my previous jobs, I never really had to fix an actual hardware component. Usually, we send them off to the vendors or manufacturers if they are still under warranty. What we do, though, realistically in the real world is to replace those components that need an upgrade or components that are broken. For example, the hard drive died. So that's when we replace hard drives like SSDs, for example. Also, another part of hardware basics is the cables and connectors. You should be familiar with at least the most basic cables that we use especially for display cables because we will be asked a lot about monitor issues monitor not connecting or if they need a new monitor or a second monitor a third monitor you should know the basic cables that we use for monitors and the following ports like dvi display port hdmi USB ports, USB cables, there's also different types of USB ports like USB-A, USB-C which is more universal nowadays. Also another important hardware that we always have to fix is the printers. So you should also know the basic on printers like printer issues and the types of printers just like network printers and local printers, setting up printers, installing printers. They are very common in office spaces and almost Almost everywhere I work, there's always going to be a printer. Okay, so moving on from hardware, the next would be operating system basics. So, of course, you should know the basics of OS and the computer would not function without an operating system. So, at least know the basics, especially Windows. Windows is the most popular operating systems within business environments. You should also be familiar with the differences between Home, Pro, and Enterprise. You should also be familiar with other operating systems such as Mac OS that's also becoming popular but that also depends on the industry that you will be working for. Windows is still used by majority of users but there are business environments that are using MacBooks as their primary operating system. You should also be familiar with Linux just in case you'll encounter companies that use that but I'm not saying that you have to be an expert on Linux because most entry-level IT jobs don't really expect you to be an expert on Linux or master Linux but at least have proficiency in Windows. Sometimes MacBook depending on the industry. So what you should know aside from navigating the operating systems and the basic is to do admin tasks on different operating systems, especially Windows, like creating users, using the control panel and setting up things and control panel, task manager and other Windows tools that can help with troubleshooting and managing computer and user accounts. Okay, and speaking of operating systems, there are other devices aside from computers that uses operating system and that's mobile devices nowadays everything is connected to the internet and at work we also integrate mobile devices in our business environment and systems as well so mobile devices are used more now at work so you should also know and be familiar with android and ios just the basic like settings getting into wi-fi those are the most common issues that the user will have for their phones and IT are now supporting mobile devices too. There are some companies that allow BYOD policy. So there will be user requests coming in from mobile device issues as well. 
Okay, so the next thing you should learn is the basics of software and applications. You should know how to install and uninstall a software. That's the most basic part of our task. And we will also be doing that a lot. So be familiar with how to do that on Windows and Mac OS. Also be familiar with the different productivity tools, just like the Microsoft Suite, Office 365, Office Suite. If you're an IT professional, you are expected to be proficient in Word, Excel, and other Microsoft Office products. Next under software is email products. And that's also a big part of our operations is the email. So there are different email platforms, but Outlook is one of the most popular ones. The next is the Google Suite or the gmail depends on the company but just know the basics on email setting them up what a distribution list is what a sh what a shared inbox is and how to set it up add users to it and just all the basics with email and also troubleshooting email issues okay so next on our list is basic networking so I'm not telling you to get your Network Plus and CCNA right now, but you really have to learn the basic of networking because networking is also a fundamental part of technology and our operations at work. So at least know the basics on IP address, MAC address, what they are, the different types, why we use them. Also, how to set up static IP address on devices, especially your computer, because you will also be doing that. Next is at least be familiar with the different networking devices that we use because we also manage that as IT professionals so at least understand what switches routers hubs access points firewalls are what they do and also at least know the basics on Wi-Fi and how to troubleshoot Wi-Fi issues that's also important because most companies now uses laptops for their users and also mobile phones so there's also going to be a lot of tickets and requests on Wi-Fi issues Next is another important thing to learn, which is Active Directory basics. So if you're working in an environment that supports Windows computers, this is an important skill to learn. So just learn the basics on Active Directory users and computers, like managing user and computer accounts, what service accounts are, resetting passwords and enabling accounts this is the most common it ticket that we get if you want to learn more about active directory and practice the skills and knowledge you can build a home lab on your own computer for free with windows servers and active directory on a virtual machine if you're interested i also have videos on how to set up home labs like that from scratch so you can check it out on the channel Next is IT security basics. So because we are managing a lot of computers and a lot of systems and technologies, we also have to make them all secure so our systems won't encounter any cyber attacks and security threats and vulnerabilities as much as possible. So again, I'm not asking you to be cyber security experts here, but just at least understand and know the basics and fundamentals on security threats, what the different threats there are, and the most common threats that we encounter at work, like phishing, social engineering, malware, viruses, and also the different security tools that can help us mitigate and prevent these kinds of attacks like antivirus, anti-malware, firewalls, and such. Also, it's important to learn the basic troubleshooting commands, especially on Windows, and what it does and how it can help you troubleshoot issues. Just like ping, IP config, NS lookup for Windows. And last and also as equally important to learn is troubleshooting and support. So this is more on soft skills than the tech skills that I've mentioned earlier. So this is basically learning customer service. Customer service is a huge part of our tasks and responsibilities, especially when you are in entry-level IT. Most likely you will be dealing with users and you will be customer facing. So it's really important to develop this skill and it's really good if you already have customer service skills from previous jobs like internships or if you were in a different industry before and you were also dealing with customers and clients, those skills are transferable to IT. Also important to learn about ticketing system, just the basics, how to manage tickets, how to, how to deal with the tickets that you encounter at work, and how to communicate on those 
tickets also lastly but not least is troubleshooting method so it's really important to learn the techniques that you can use to easily fix issues okay so that's the list that i have compiled so far that i think is important to learn when you are starting in it and also that's based on my experience on the tasks that I've done in my first IT job and what was expected from me. I might have missed some important topics and concepts. So if I missed some, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And I hope that you learned something from today's video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.